Plus, meet the Avila brothers from Rialto, who are record producers and up for an Album of the Year Grammy. And we begin with the Avila brothers, who today are producing for some of the top R&B talent in the country. You are the angel sent to me. Well, I remember uh, not being able to, to get any sleep for the, you know, the next day, which we had to go to school at that time. And um, they, were, they were always rehearsing in the garage. So my dad was like, well, you know, if you guys are going to stay up, just come in and, you know, watch us rehearse. So I would always sit by the drummer, and um, he'd always be checking out the keyboard player. And, you know, that was kind of like the start when I was like, hmm, this is, you know, something that, yeah, it looks fun. As far back as Iz and Bobby Avila can remember, music has been part of their life. And although producing music is what they do now, performing their songs is what they've been doing since they were little boys. Our dad actually was able to create a career for me. He kind of mapped out a plan. I was like 13 years old, and by that time I had already experienced like playing different instruments. Mm -hmm. He got me into singing and you know, just a, a variety of stuff that, that music has to offer. Bobby's father was a member of numerous bands in Los Angeles from the 60s through the mid-80s. But when the boys became teenagers, their father dropped his music career. I gave my, my band a, a notice and told them that I was going to put full time into my sons. And I talked to Clara before that. I says, I really believe that I, I can get Bobby a deal, you know, within a year. But it's going to take a lot of sacrifice, and she had to be, I guess, a financial supporter. Well, that's the undercover level, let you do what you want to do. While making his first recording, a Grammy Award-winning producer, Terry Lewis, happened to hear Bobby and offered to produce his first album. So at the age of 14, Bobby Ross Avila had connected with a major player in the R&B music world. This led him to recording his first album and starring as the opening act for the pop group New Kids on the Block, back in the early 90s. As Bobby's career started to grow, his younger brother, Iz, started recording his own songs also. But eventually, the brothers decided to focus on what they knew they could sell to other artists, and that was their production background. We just kind of combined both of our skills, and, and through the experiences, we just kind of took all of that and said, all right, let's apply that to building our production company. Today, the Avila brothers are producing for top artists like Usher, Janet Jackson, Macy Gray, along with groups they grew up listening to with their father. There's very few artists that you'll, you'll actually get into the mode of where you're like stunned and like, oh my gosh, but when Earth, Wind & Fire came through, it was like we had to grab the video camera. Today, these brothers from Rialto are celebrating the Grammy nomination with Usher's Confessions album. They are also putting their final touches on their own album to be released later this year. Needless to say, they're happy. They never let go of their dreams of making it big in the music industry. The unfortunate part of, the, of doing music is the business part. That's the part that doesn't make it fun at all. If you keep the music first, I mean, and, and that's your drive, you'll, you'll always do well. So Music news reporter Francesca Capucci is up next to profile the rising success of singer Bobby Ross Avila. Raised here in the Southland, he was discovered by producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis of Janet Jackson fame. And now Francesca tells us his newest album manages to blend the Latin flavor with hip hop. At 18, Bobby Ross Avila has it all. He is a musician, singer, songwriter, and producer. Bobby, who is bursting with creative energy, even runs his own record label, which has just released his third album entitled, What's Up, Que Pasa? It features a remake of Al Green's Let's Stay Together. Ooh, baby. Pasa, Bobby blends his love of R&B with the music of his heritage. So that's why, you know, on every album we either have a Spanglish or a Spanish um, record on the album to let those know, you know, my heritage and I'm proud of my culture. Bobby might be young, but he has learned quite a lot about the business side of the music industry. No doubt about it that I've learned a lot, you know, since I've, you know, started, when I first started out, 
Um, the business aspect, most definitely. You know, it's kind of tough. You know, a lot of people think just going in the studio and making a record and then they're gonna become a big star. It just don't happen that way. And being a Latino in the, in the industry, there's a lot going against me. So it's, it's kind of been tough, but I've grown musically, spiritually, and mentally. And I hope, you know, that I can make it to where I can help, you know, my culture and those people who aren't as fortunate as I am, you know, to open the door for them. At 18, Bobby Avila has achieved quite a lot. His formula for success is simply to put your heart and soul into your dreams. Francesca Capucci, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.